Simon, who's part of the conservation team, decided that we needed a boat for doing wildlife surveys on the water. So we were thinking of getting an inflatable canoe or something like that, but then we thought, hey, there's lots of plywood outside in the skip, and why don't we set ourselves a challenge to build a boat in a day? which we dismally failed, but, <laughs> but we did build a boat in a week. And so that's what we came up with. And it's almost entirely made from uh, stuff that we got out of the Magpie scrap store upstairs, which in turn has been filched mainly out of the Vesta's skip. So thanks to them. Um, it has never been in the water yet, so this is a genuine test. Um, and we're not quite sure what's going to happen, so... And... <laughs> Where's it gone? Where's the shirt? It's in the boat. In the boat, is it? I think it might be in the pocket of my... Um, in the pocket of my raincoat. We, we considered buying a bottle of expensive champagne to crack over the bows, but then thought that that might bring a quick end to our journey, so... So we went for something a bit softer instead, which has been provided by Hannah. <laughs> Have you got it right? <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, if the, if the um, bottle doesn't break, I think it's then, um, start, yeah. maybe we should launch it and row round here, and then somebody can scatter it with, you, with Sherbet. <laughs> I don't know if we have a volunteer for Sherbet scattering. I'll scatter. <laughs> And you've got to name it, oh, which you did really, because you came up with the winning name. <laughs> in, in a special voice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well that's it. Okay. Here we go. It's right, the Queen always wears a hat. Bless this vessel. Name the ship. You seem to have got a bit lost. Uh, you, you do. You, you do. Want to see how well the boat turned around? Ah. Down to the I, I was just a bit worried that you didn't know which way you were going. So, so how far across are you now? Well, oh, we've got about 50 meters to go. Maybe a bit longer. Maybe 20, 30 meters anyway. Uh, and is it all still dry in there? Yeah, everything's dry. You can see the water running underneath the boat, though. Right. Oh, uh, sounds Sorry, very exciting. <laughs> Yeah, I'm still here. Oh yeah. Oh. What does it look like on your end? I think you can get out and stand on the... Uh... Oh, I'm going to get out and stand on the side when we get there. Right, okay, just to prove that you've, you've reached the other side. Yeah, just to prove that we can cross the River Medina in this river. I don't know, it's kind of quite well, it's just quite quick. So, so have you reached? Have you reached the side there? <laughs> yeah, and he's reached the other side successfully, and Dan seems to be leaving without him. <laughs>